Hi there, Internet. I'm Polar the Polar Bear, and this is my girlfriend, Melissa. Hi! Welcome to another episode of the Micro Bear <coughs> Gourmet, where we are trying TGI Fridays. Uh, these are the uh, buffalo-style chicken wings, and um, I don't know... It's, it's going to be interesting trying to find nutrition info for these and not the ones they actually sell at TGI Fridays because there's no difference in the name at all. Oh. Um, um, well, if worst case scenario, he can... I'm just going to rip that off. And write it in there. Just to, yeah. So, yeah. on that note, uh, the nutrition info will be in the description down below for those of you who are interested. That's what they look like. Basically, you just microwave the chicken and then it comes with a sauce packet. You have to defrost. Um, yeah. Which is a pain. Yeah. And I don't like doing it because I'm lazy and I just want to eat food. Uh, um, got these at a Walmart uh, for, and again, this was months ago, so I'm basically... going to take a bite while you're yeah, doing that. Yeah, go ahead. I'm basically guessing at this point uh, how much these actually were, but TGI Friday's entrees are normally on the high end of $3. I usually find that they're little bit more expensive than I want to pay but I remember seeing these and I love buffalo wings I'm a sucker for buffalo wings I'm like I can try these for the show so I bought these around the same time I bought the cheddar blasted crust pizza rolls which that video should have already been posted all right so there's bone yeah there's bone it's they're not boneless I wish they were but they're not that's my favorite kind of, uh, I don't, I don't, if I can at all get them, I prefer boneless, uh, chicken, chicken Same tenders. I, I just did, like, the entire intro and left you behind nibbling on a chicken wing. That's cool. That's good. <laughs> that buffalo sauce is not that good. I like it. It's okay. I like the texture of the chicken. It's kind of dry. We don't have a napkin, do we? Nope. I think I got chicken sauce in my beard. Oh well. <laughs> nope. Um. It's pretty good. We'll 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 grab a napkin after this episode. Yeah. So, um, those are all right. I like them. Um. I think she likes them more than I do. Uh, I I'm just not impressed by the buffalo sauce. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I've been spoiled by Frank's over the course of my life. Because <laughs> um, that's the sauce when I make my own chicken wings and stuff. That's the sauce I use, and I love it. Uh, it's and Frank's has a very strong flavor. That's very muted, uh, not particularly spicy. Uh, the one the one thing I can say uh, in positive for that product is that it does have a good texture to it. I like the texture of the chicken. It's kind of crunchy on the outside, yeah. soft on the inside sort of thing. It did maintain its texture really well. It did. Um, and that I like. But, again, not impressed by the buffalo sauce and... T like TGI Friday <clears throat> stuff, anything that's like restaurant branded, it's very expensive. Is yeah, is more expensive than it honestly needs to be. That's true. So that's only getting out of here with a five out of ten. Um, I I don't particularly recommend those. Um, I like it. Okay, so how were the price a little more reasonable? Um, I'd probably give it a seven out of ten. I'm gonna go with a six though. Um, cause I agree that it tends to be overpriced for what you get. They really do. Yeah. Um. But it's really good. I like it, actually. And I'm not usually a fan of bone-in chicken, but um, I like that that chicken's not greasy. Um, and yeah, I, that is true. It's not. Which chicken, usually, bone-in chicken is quite greasy to me. Um, so I like that it's not greasy. I actually really like the buffalo sauce. Um, I think it has a nice kick to it, and I like the flavor um, quite a bit. So I'm a fan of the buffalo sauce. And I'm actually a fan of this. I like it more than I thought I would. So I um, I don't know that I'd buy it again unless it's on sale. But if right. it were on sale and I found it for cheaper than it normally comes, like, I could see myself buying this again. So um, I'd say I recommend it if you're willing to pay the price for it or if you can find <laughs> it on sale. If you're willing to pay the price. <laughs> but I'd say definitely try it because um, I actually am surprised by, by how much I like it. So. All right. Well, thank you guys very much for joining <laughs> us on another 
<laughs> you always giggle when I start my <laughs> outro. I don't know why. Thank you very much for joining me on another episode of The Microburger Man. I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Bye.